Hello and welcome in. Mark here, aka the Markster. This is video number 56 in the Free Cat series. In the last video, we looked at the pad operation. Today we're going to look at the revolve operation. This will be a quick, short video. Today I'm using 0 0.19 revision 20036 on Windows 10. This is one of the development releases. Create a sketch on the XZ plane. I'm not really making a model here. I'm just, uh, it's going to be sort of a funnel. I'm not going to bother um, fully constraining this just demonstrating this operation. So the revolve tool, very similar to the one in the part workbench, revolves your profile. Let's make that visible. It revolves your profile around some axis. In this case we're using the Z axis or the vertical sketch axis. And we have some options here. Let's take a look at symmetric to the plane and reversed. They don't seem to have any effect and the reason for that is we're going 360 degrees a full circle. So if we change this to let's say 120 degrees now we can see the effects of symmetric to the plane. We're going equal amount in both directions or reversed. We can also select an edge as a reference if we have one available. And we can use a construction line as our edge if we have one in the sketch. So let's look at using a construction line edge. So because this construction line is a distance from the vertical sketch axis, when we select that as our edge, it's going to produce a much larger diameter object. Let's do it again first using the default vertical sketch axis. And now let's select instead that construction line. This can be useful when you need a, an axis of rotation that's not one of the major axes. So for example, see if we can come up with an example here. And create a new sketch on the XZ plane. Okay, so let's suppose what we wanted was a cylinder out here. But we needed a rotation axis down here somewhere. We can add a construction line edge. And 
And let's do a revolve around this sketch. So that's the revolution. If you right click in properties and choose show all, you can see more options, more properties. That's not just related to revolutions, that's with all the properties now. So that's it. Uh, well, let's show also selecting um, an arbitrary edge. Let's hide this body, create a new body, a new sketch. this new sketch XY plane now if I want to revolve this using this edge as the center of our revolution. We can choose select a reference now the danger in this of course is the topological naming issue because now we have a particular edge that we're referencing in this case edge number 12 much like the discussion in in the video on pad operation this can get you in trouble if you uh, if you go in and change this this other sketch such that now this edge has been renamed and it's long, no longer edge 12 then you could run afoul of the topological naming issue Now we've broken our model because it's still looking for edge 12. Rotation edge must be a straight line, so it's one of these curved edges. It's probably edge 12 now. So that's something to keep in mind when using an arbitrary selected edge. You would be better off instead. Uh, adding a construction line to your sketch so that's not going to change unless you want it to put your construction line where you want your edge to be and use that instead of one of these other edges of course if it breaks you'll be prepared for it and you'll be able to go in and fix it easily but just to avoid the problem, you're better off using a, a construction line edge. Or think about it before you start sketching and center, center your sketch such that one of the um, major axes is your axis of rotation. Well, sometimes that might not be possible, like in this example here. Which I suppose we could have uh, the, the vertical axis for this one and the horizontal axis for this one. But the, if we wanted this at an angle, that would not have been possible. We would have needed to use that construction edge for that. Okay, I tell you this is going to be short. So that's going to be it for this video. I thank you for watching. Stay tuned. We'll have some more 
with some of these other features as well coming up soon. Thanks again and have a great day.